Hi YouTube, I can't believe that I'm actually filming this but this is my official labor and delivery vlog we are leaving for the hospital in five minutes because they are going to induce me I am now 40 weeks pregnant in two days and baby is measuring big and that's why they are going to induce me I have stress but I'm also really, really, really excited because tomorrow we are going to meet our baby girl. It's now 8 in the evening, so it's gonna be a long night, but I'm really excited. How is daddy feeling? Let me check with him. I'm ready for it. I've been waiting for this moment uh, for the past nine months. I'm happy I'm finally gonna have my part eh, of, of being a parent. So can't wait and he's going to vlog as well because I don't know if I will be like in the mood to film anything so I asked him to take over the camera sometimes to update you guys so enjoy this yep. video we are very excited and we are now leaving for the hospital ready and packed to go We are at the hospital, I think this is going to be the room where I stay in, but I'm not completely sure. Um, I'm hooked to the CTG, so they are measuring my contractions and her heartbeat. Um, I didn't get anything for induction yet, but I did have my COVID test, which was not bad at all. I expected it to be worse. Um, they are also checking my blood pressure. I normally have a really low blood pressure, but now it's higher. But I think that's because I'm stressed, like, obviously. I will show you the room, but as I said, I'm not sure that I will stay in this room, but we will see. He also got his COVID test because he's going to sleep here, so he also had to be tested. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I still feel it in, in the back of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. Uh, Not at all. So every room, every delivery room has a bath and a shower which is really nice that I can take a bath if I want to. Here we can see the contractions. I'm at 100 now, which means I have a contraction right now. I feel some pressure, but no pain. And here you can see my contractions, which is a pink line. It looks really uh, promising, but I don't feel anything, so... Yep. Waiting. So they put a pill inside of me. Um, I thought they were going to use a balloon, but they chose for a pill because my you know, like it's too hard in there. So they want to make it softer, and the pill will help. And now I am checking contractions again. Uh, and after this, we are going to another room. So that's my update for now. I feel them now because the last two ones, like the high ones you saw on the screen, I felt. Uh, the contractions like a little bit of pain so that's good news that I finally start to feel them um, so we will see how this goes we are here for two hours now and we do stay in this room because it's not really busy here, so they don't need this room and Jonathan can't go to the normal maternity room because his results of the COVID test aren't in yet um, so we will probably just stay here the whole time till she's born um, 
and then probably tomorrow he will have his results from the test and then we will be able to go to the maternity room so yeah I don't really have contractions yet so we are just going to watch some Netflix it's 10 o'clock in the evening first one didn't really do much but I do feel the contractions right now not really painful like a 3 out of 10 um, I hope this second pill will do some more And so it is an update. Update. So the third pill is in. It's 6 30 in the morning. I started having painful contractions at 4 30. That really went up and down like contractions. Um, but no dilation yet. So we just keep going and hope. I will dilate soon, but they are getting more intense. So, Dus hebben ze juist het vruchtwater gebroken, omdat uh, ofwel was het dan het infuus uh, dat ze moest, ofwel uh, was het toch proberen om het vruchtwater te breken. En aangezien dat ze uh, wou vermijden om eigenlijk aan een infuus te hangen, um, hebben ze dan toch ervoor gekozen om het vruchtwater te breken. Dat is momenteel dus gebeurd. Um, het heeft wel super veel pijn, zeg ik. Zie je het hier ook? Beetje minder happy. Maar ah, super goed gedaan, baby. Het is gewoon verschieten. Ja, dat zou wel even verschieten zijn. Dus nu even terug aan de monitor om te zien of het uh, invloed heeft gehad op de weeën. Die kunnen nu een stuk sterker zijn. Dus um, hopelijk ze biedt meer nieuws.
Mr. Wookie. Update. Um, since they broke my water, I have pretty bad contractions, like every two minutes. In between the contractions, I'm fine, um, but the contractions are definitely intense and really painful. I'm also leaking water almost every contraction, which is weird. Um, and they are going to check me in half an hour and hope I'm dilated. Vijf tot nu is vijf uur van. Zo lang niet meer.
niet dat we ja, bedoel, je kunt uh, nog wachten, maar ondertussen wordt het handel wel steeds moeder en moeder. Ja. Dus daar moet ook een beetje rekening mee gaan. Tot misschien nog een vrienden. Dat weten we niet, maar we gaan het proberen. Hè? We gaan nu nog niet zeggen, we doen niks meer. Hè? Dat gaan we niet doen. Hè? Dat heeft het niet gekeken. Je wilt zeker die bureau aan, hè? Tot er nu al hebben, ja? Ze is zeker, hè? Je zegt dat ik het niet wou, hè? Ja, maar ik kan niet aan het spannen. Oké. Ik ben niet moe. Ja. Ik heb vannacht ook niet zoveel geslapen, denk ik, hè? Nee, hè? Twee uur, dus. Thank you. 
because I took the epidural my contractions were bad and every minute I had like one minute contraction one minute rest and they checked me and I didn't progress so I felt really defeated if I had progressed like two centimeters or something I would definitely not have taken the epidural but I was feeling defeated and also like I was cramping up because of that so I was really tensed and I couldn't I couldn't relax anymore so I already took the epidural and I hope this relaxation will help um, progress me and I also have the um, pitocin oxytocin in my arm I asked for a bandage so I can see the scary thing going in my arm um, and he really helped me with the epidural like without him I would have freaked out but he was really my rock so how uh, did you experience like, epidural? It's pretty intense you were in a lot of pain so this helps a lot mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you were happy you did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have been really proud if I didn't, but I like I'm up from yesterday nine o'clock and it's now eleven. Eleven and I slept two hours max. So I'm up for a long time and with that slow progression hell no. Nah. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting a contraction, but mm -hmm. really doable. I feel it though. So much better. <laughs> mm. You know what life has. Yeah, that is all.
En dan gaan we eerst even de ruilen ombouwen, dat die beter vet. En het slaat tot aan je ribben. En dan gaan we dat beetje eruit halen. Ja, nog, hè? Misschien moet dat nu even afgemaakt van mijn batterij. Ah ja, ja, ik weet dat niet. Hè. En af is? Uh, van boven. Hier van boven gewoon? Uh, nee, Om-off, ja, ik zie het, het staat erop. or expected um, c-section but everything for this little baby meet Ivy the porter mm -hmm. 